So let's go back to the question and look at how we are to print off this information. I can see here we have there are going to be four printouts. Starting with the first one, print one copy of the cash statement worksheet in value view, omitting the cost per person information. This should be portrait with grid lines only. OK, so let's do that one first. Here we are in the cash statement worksheet and we've been asked to print it off a portrait values grid lines only. Well, this is value view because we can see all the figures there. Different ways for printing. I personally would just highlight the range of the information I, I specifically want to print where not to include the cost per person. So I'm just going to highlight the, the range here. Go to file and then to print. And we've got to make sure it's, it's on portrait and to show grid lines only. Well, I would go into page setup, then into sheet and untick. Uh, sorry, beg your pardon. Untick the row and column headings, but keep the grid lines um, selected. Click on OK. And that's the first one done. The second printout is the same sheet there, the cash statement, this time in formula view. Again, omitting the cost per person information, this time landscape and the grid lines and row and column headings are to be showing. So let's go ahead and do that now. So to show the formulas for this one here, there's different ways to do it. You'll see there um, we've got formulas in the ribbon here. If I go along, there's a button here called show formulas. It can be on or off. Remember, if you are printing off formulas, make sure that you do widen your column to make sure that your entire formula can be seen before you print it off. The other way that we can show formulas is if I put my finger on the control key, bottom left hand of the keyboard, keep it pressed down and click on the shoulder key. That's the button below the escape key at the top left hand side. So toggle on and toggle off. So that's the other way to do it. So here we've got the uh, the information with the formulas. Again, I would just highlight the range that I want to print. Go to file and then to print. We've got print selection already selected. Remember, there's options there. We want this one to be landscape. And let's go back to page setup. And if you remember, go into sheet. And this time we'll leave the grid lines on and we also want the row and column headings on. Click on OK. That looks fine. Page 101. So when you print that off, it will print on one page only. Let's now look at how we have to print the summary sheet. So the first one is with value view, landscape, grid lines only. And the second time it's formula view again, landscape, this time grid lines and row and column headings. So here we are in the summary sheet in value view. So let's highlight the information. File. Print. Change this one to landscape. And it also asked that we showed the grid lines only. So again, to page setup. To sheet grid lines. OK. And that's the first one done. The second printout has to be showing in formula view, this time also with row and column headings. So let's just go back and whatever way you want to do it, make sure we're showing the formulas. So control shoulder key or press the, the button there in the ribbon. Let's make sure everything is wide enough. I think that's actually OK. I can see it's not quite going to fit. I don't think even even though it's been highlighted, I might just want to narrow a few things to make it fit. You'll see there the dotted lines down the right hand side is telling me this will fit onto one page. File, then uh, print again. And the other way, remember, you can make sure it fits onto one page is you've got your scaling option here. And we could have actually just said, you know, fit all co all columns on one page would have done the trick or even fit sheet on one page. So there's different ways to make sure it does fit on the same page. And the last thing here is page setup again to sheet because we also want to show the row and column headings. So that would be your fourth printout for the task.